Hey guys, welcome to another Ray Challenge video with your boy, The Real Deal. Um, so today I'm going to be doing a beginner's guide on Arena. I want to do a series on this and it will sort of gradually get more advanced and hopefully this will help people to progress to Gold 4, Gold 5 and even Platinum. Even if Platinum, if you're that good. So um, I'll be showing you sort of three team comps, showing you how they work, why they work and when to use them and, you know, pros and cons. Um, I'll be showing you how you can build your own teams and I'll be giving you like alternatives that you can use as well. Um, and then we'll be looking at Deadwood Jedi's website to make sure um, our champions go in the right order because that's very important. That's a very basic mechanic, but it's really important that you set that up correctly. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show you my three teams and then I'll sort of like do a scaled down version so you guys can use those as well. So let's get straight into it. So first team comp. Okay. So I know, that, so basically I'm going to go my team, which will be more advanced and then a more free to play, very early game teams that you can use. And to be fair, these teams would, I'd say good enough to get you into gold one, even gold four. If you, The thing about arena is more about gear than it is about the champions you have. It's about sort of, um, you know, synergy and how your team works so first up we've got arbiter and then we've got seeker madame and foley so this team how it works is arbiter's the fastest so uh, this isn't her real speed but i'm just going to use examples so she runs at 250 so she goes first seeker say is at 220 then madame is say 200 and then foley is at 180 so that's how you get your team uh sorry that's how you get your champions to run in the right order so um, how it works is Arbiter will go first. Um, so you always want your speed, uh, sorry, a champion with a speed aura to go in front for these sort of teams. And um, so, you know, um, for example, Hikatoon, so I think she's like 19 speed. But if you get like a skull crown, I think she's 24. So you'd put a skull crown at the front and then you'd have your Hikatoon. But Hikatoon would still go first because she's faster than your skull crown. So, um, Arbiter will is my fastest champion, and she will do a turn meter booster, and then Seek will go and do a turn meter booster, and also increase attack. Um, he also has a provoke. So usually I'd provoke their Arbiter or whatever champions like the fastest. He'll go next to stop them, basically to provoke them to avoid them cutting into my team. Because I know sometimes, even when your team's um, speed tune. Sometimes there's different reasons they can cut in. And then Madame is, uh, so basically she'll remove any buffs they have if she's got high enough accuracy and then she'll place decrease defense and decrease, uh, sorry, attack down. Really good champion, so powerful, really good if you've got her in a team. A must, uh, like six star if you pull her. And then basically any nuker can go here. Um, I've got Foley because he hits hard. Um, he also has a block for revive and like he actually counts as Rotos. Um, he basically has like multi hitters, so um, Rotos passive that stops him from getting killed. Um, basically, that passive get count gets countered by being multi hit by Foley and will kill him. So, the budget team that you can use basically, um, so we've got Hiker Toon because she's got a speed aura, so she's in the lead. Um, and then she'll be my fastest champion or apothecary. Actually, it doesn't really matter either of these. So she'll we'll say in this theory. Uh, so hypothetically, we'll say she's the fastest. So she will go first and do a turn meter boost, and then apothecary will turn meter boost. Oh, sorry. So this team comp I don't think it really has a name, but it's basically just a double team, a double turn meter boost uh, combo. And then basically any any attack down, sorry, any defense down champion can be used. So War Maiden, very accessible, very easy to get. Um, there's two ways you can build her. You can either build her with lots, I mean, at lower end of arena, she needs about probably 200 accuracy. That should be fine. But um, yeah, my Madame's probably about 500, 600. And you can go more than that, but she needs to be fast and she needs to have good accuracy. And then we've got Kale, who's just our Nuka. So I wouldn't even put him any accuracy on him and just go pure damage. So enough speed so you don't get cut in um, so maybe sort of around 200 if you can push that higher and then just you want to stack attack and crit damage 
you want a hundred percent crit rate if you can. Um, when you're lower down in the leagues, um, instead of having crit damage gloves, it's perfectly fine to have crit rate gloves. As long as you've got a hundred percent crit rate, so he's hitting hard enough to get that one kill. Basically, you want to try and kill their team in one blow. And we're, you're always using someone that's got like an AOE ability that hits really hard. So next up is pretty much the same team comp. Um, the only difference is, is that um, I'm using two nukers. So um, the first team is just sort of very standard. Um, that's just like a very standard arena team that people use. This one's more, say they've got um, two, like a few tanky champions. And, they, and you know that you're going to be faster than them, then you don't actually need to have a double turn meter boost and you can have your um, speed up champ or turn meter boost to champion. And then I've got Lydia as my uh, defense down champion. And you've got two nukers with AoE. So that should be enough to kill all their team. And then the reason um, I've got Lydia in there as well, brilliant thing about her is she'll block revives if the enemies try to, if there's an enemy reviver that survives and try to bring back the team. So that's really good. And then the Budget Virgin, High Cartoon, um, Deacon, Armstrong, um, Kale, and El Hain. So um, Deacon is a really good option. Um, basically because he does he does a few things. He, he's like, got where well, High Cartoon's sort of like a one-trick pony. Um, he has um, Terminator Booster. He's also got the speed aura lead, but then also he has decreased defense and he also has, um, he'll boost your team's turn meter, but then push back the enemy's uh, turn meter. So that makes him really strong, really powerful. So really good to have him. And then just two Nikas. So just Kale and El Hain, so two star champions. So that is the budget version of that team. And then this is sort of similar to the first team. So rather than having, um, another turn meter booster you have a provoke champion so Arbit goes first then your cc champion would go so physics in this case so she will provoke all the enemy team and then your madam will uh, take all their buffs off and put down defense down and then you'll just smack them all with your foley or any nuka that you have so um this is really good um the only so basically what you can do with this as well is that um, you can actually build your nuke a bit slower. Then maybe instead of putting speed boots on them, you put attack uh, attack percentage boots, and that way they would be doing more damage. So that way you can you know potentially kill their team. You have well, it would be easier to kill their team in one go. Um, there are disadvantages to this. Um, you know you may go against a high resistance team, so those provokes won't work. Or for example, Foley, um, he has a passive where. Um, he's immune, like he'll uh, be immune to provoke for the first hit, um, and there's also like Leores who's completely immune to C uh, CC. So there's champions like that you have to watch out for. But you know, the more you play the game, you will learn these. Uh, and then next we've got Deacon, Narhorn, um, War Maiden, and then Senesha. So similar thing, um, Deacon um, speed lead. He would be the fastest champion. He's also got that speed aura. And he can do a decreased defense as well. But I've also got War Maiden there. He can do the same thing. But you could have, like, this is like, you could have them as double nukers. Um, so you could just build War Maiden instead of, like, say, a triple accuracy set or triple perception. You would put her in damage gear. Uh, Nullhorn is a good option. Um, so he's got provoke. So he can do an AV, uh, so AoE provoke with him. And then Senatia. Um, her A1 hits really hard, it's AoE, and yeah, you just build her in full damage, and that will take out their team. So that's the teams. Uh, now I'm going to do a run through for you. Um, so the problem is I'm in gold four at the moment, so um, I can't really use any of the budget teams um, because I will just lose. This is just a speed race. So if I look at their team, what do they have? They've got two turn meter champions. And then they've got two nukers. So um, what to, so for me to win this, basically, this is a speed race. So whoever's Arbiter's fastest will win. 
that's pretty much what it comes down to. So wish me luck, wish me luck, boys. Oh, look at that. Just a oh skin of our teeth. We won that one. Yeah, then the and also take that evil eye ability. So um, even if my seeker doesn't land the provoke, he'll push back the turn meter a little bit as well. And then game over. Oh, not quite. Okay, so um, their arbiters in Swift Perry must be really well built because she is pretty fast. Uh, let her take her turn. And then we'll CC um, Rotos. And then yeah, I was hoping to get round back to Foley. And then I just love this ability. Just like quad hit on the A2. Just absolutely smacks. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, so what? T so um, I don't know if I'm about to show all the teams because it is. It's all very situational. So this team is more for tanky, and this one I don't think it's actually speed tuned. Um, but I will try. I will give it a go. Just for you guys, I will give it a go. Um, oh, you idiot! Uh, so let's come out. Just wasted, just wasted the, uh, what are they called? Arena tokens. So, um, yeah, let's stick in my, so that's, where are you? Okay, I'm going blind, where are, where? Yeah, so let's do the CC team. And you can make it full auto. The only reason is sometimes I don't like to do full auto because the champions will just do strange things sometimes. That's just the honest truth. So, CC. So, you know, their team, they're all just focusing on physics. Uh, and they're only hit with their A1, so they're doing reduced damage. They can't do anything. Foley comes in and absolutely obliterate, uh, <laughs> absolutely obliterates them. And... Um, the only problem is Sanisha is um, Red Affinity, so, um, you know, didn't kill her. Well, that's fine. We'll just finish her off now. Oh, my God. More Swift Parry. Yeah, managed to strip it off. And that's it. Game over. So, uh, let's see. Hmm. So, this is quite a tanky team. So, they'll be quite slow. So... Uh, double Nuka, so with this one, I know they're going to have a shield champion in there very likely because of Bro uh, Brogni, Brogni and Mountain King. There's definitely going to be a shield champion in there. So I'm going to take out Lydia and stick in Madame. This is one reason you have to sometimes take her auto because Madame, she'll always do her um, fear ability rather than putting down her de de uh, decreased defense instead, which is very annoying. So yeah, so I'm going to do Gembo first, and then Foley. Mm, I'm just, sorry, I'm just trying to think if I've got any better new corruptions. Yeah, I definitely want to use Foley because of um, they've got two revivers. So hopefully I've got enough damage to take them out. And I've still got a pretty fast team, but yep, yeah, I'm just fast enough to uh, take them out. Okay, and then hopefully Foley should go next. Okay, so, ah, oh. and of course, more Swift Perry. Perry, Swift Parry. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I cannot speak to save my life. Um, so, Madame's going to, um, yep, strip their buffs and take them out. I'm going to take out Godseeker first. Because she can revive. And then I'm going to arrive with Arbiter. Boost. And then take out their Mountain King. Yep, yeah, so managed to use all three teams. Didn't think I was going to be able to. Because sometimes it's really difficult. Um, you know, those aren't the teams I, you know, I use a whole variety of teams. Um, and as your roster grows, you will sort of change champions around. Um, and just figure out different ways to beat teams. 
Um, but that's okay. So I'm, I'm very pleased that I'm actually show you all three teams. That's brilliant. And all of those um, other teams I showed you, you can use them. Um, so this is a Yumi Love. If you want to find this website, if you just type raid tier list into Google, it's usually the first or second one that comes up. Uh, just click on that and let's uh, start building our team. So first of all, we need an aura speed lead as discussed before. So any one of these champions will do the job. Um, the I think the lowest is sort of 19%. So Hikatoon um, speed lead is 19%. So it is the like at the lower end. But, you know, um, another good option is, um, let's see, Skull Crown. I think she's 24%, 23%. And then Gorgorab as well is a little bit faster, 23% as well. So, you know, you can have those as your speed leads. That's perfectly fine. Um, not speed leads, sorry, as your speed or a uh, champion. And so you need to put them in that first slot. Um, and you can only use the all battles or arena champions. If you use um, Faction Wars, Doom Tower, it's not going to work, unfortunately. So make sure you um, yeah choose a champion that's one of these. Then we want Turn Meter Booster. So if you go to instant, turn, increase turn meter. And not all turn meters are built the same. So Hikatoon has the lowest, which is 15%. And then Arbiter has the uh, biggest um, turn meter boost that you can get, which is 30%. Um, but yeah, so this is how you build your team. So you pick your speed or a champion. Then we need to look at a turn meter increase champion and we want the AOE. Um, these ones are not going to help us for what we're doing. And great options here. Um, I mean, all those legendaries are pretty much perfect. Like They're all really good options, really strong. Um, Epics, I'd say Deacon, Golden Reaper, Gorgorab, uh, Hikatine. Uh, Seeker as well. Uh, Seeker has one that has 30%. That's why I use them in my team. So then we want a uh, de uh, decreased defense champion. So debuffs, decrease defense. So I, I can't see. I'm going blind. There we go. Jesus Christ. Okay, so you want... Um, the strong version of decreased defense. So you want to be using all the champions that have 60% and AOE. So War Maiden and Dagger are both good options. Uh, Dagger's Void Affinity, so um, it doesn't matter uh, who they're up against, they'll be able to get that out. But the only problem is it's 75% chance when fully booked to land it. So it's up to you if you want to sort of have that RNG element. element. Um, and then uh, the only Void Epic that does this is actually Madame. So um, you're gonna, I'd recommend using either red or blue affinity um, AOE champions for this because in general, most people, um, their, their new code will be blue affinity. So if you're red or blue, you're more likely to be guaranteed to learn that decreased defense. So, Deacon's a good option. Dirk, the pierced, is a good option. Madame. Madame's just absolutely amazing. She is top of her class. Spider's also good. Stagnite. Ugo. Zagala. All those champions are really good. So they're top tier for that. And, you know, the more you play the game, you know, you'll know who's good. And you'll start seeing them up, pop up in Arena. So now we want to look at um, our Nuka. So if you go to... Uh, champions roles and to be fair not all champions uh, in general most nukas are attack based there is the occasional hp and defense based champion and even support um like seer but in general you want an attack champion but you know this is just a beginner's guide the longer you play the game you will pick up these things and you know you'll sort of know start to learn and know what you're doing but, um attack champions in 
in general, legendaries, you know, not all of them are going to be amazing for this, but a lot of them are good. And the epics, there's a lot of epics that are good and can do the job just as well. But you really want to be looking for, uh, I think the problem with this is you can't, you want AoE nukers. So if you get a new champion, just click on them and look at their skills. So if you look at Gembo, and here, attacks all enemies, and he has a 4k, uh, 4 attack and multiplier, so it means it hits really hard. So that's the sort of thing you will be looking for. But um, yeah, just you can ask just your clan mates or in general chat, and I'm sure some will help you, and they'll be like, you know, just say, is this champion any good for Arena? And also you can look at their ratings as well. So on this website, Arena Offense, and he's given them 5 out of 5, so it means they're going to do the job for you. Okay, so now we're on Deadwood Jedi's website. Um, the two videos at the top sort of explain how it works. Um, and all you need to do is, so choose your speed or a champion. So there's a whole list, but we're using Hyakatoon. And then we want to put in her display speed. So I've just kept it simple. These aren't real numbers, but just to show you, so she's 200 and then um, the whole point of this is stop your um, team getting cut into. So even if you're, say you're, my Haiku team was 300. So at the moment, my Apothecary only needs to be 166 speed, but say it's 300. Now it needs to be 250. If their champion's faster, fast enough, they will cut in and then they'll be able to uh, nuke you before you can nuke them. Let's put that back down to 200. So just want to keep it simple maths. And so, as you see, these are the speed requirements underneath. So 200, 166, 165, and then 162. Um, but the other good thing that's really cool about this is if you click on, so I made a mistake there. So really cool thing about this website is that um, Hikatoon's A2 is the turn meter booster. So that's built into the calculator. And you can see, um, and Pothecary is on his A3. So if I change Hikatoons to a different ability, now he needs to be faster because she's not doing that 10 meter boost. Um, so I hope that sort of makes sense and you know you guys know what to do for the future. Um, and I'm just going to quickly show you what your team's builds should be. Um, I won't go into like great detail, but I'll just show you sort of the basics so you know how to make them fast or make them land their abilities and do the jobs that they need to do. And we're back. So um, I'm going to do it with my Arbiter first. I have to do it with my proper team because I don't think my other champions are built up. So your speed lead, so your fastest champion, needs to be in triple speed set. Um, and I don't care what her gloves are. I'm using crit rate gloves on Arbiter. That's not ideal. She'd be better in defense or HP gloves, but and they've got the best speed rolls for me, so that's why I'm using those. And she's got a flat stat chest, which is not great, but it's got a quad roll on it, so that's why we're using it. And then always, always speed boots. The banner, don't care what it is, just whatever has the most speed on it. So that's my um, Arbiter. Next, we've got Seeker. So he's also in a triple speed set. And when you're at lower, lower arena, I'd say like sort of 200 accuracy would be fine. Um, but it, then again, same thing. I'm just trying to get as much speed as I can. And tr I, I would like more accuracy on him. But unfortunately, that's all I've got at the moment. So I'd have a, like an accuracy chest and accuracy banner. Okay, got an accuracy banner. Yeah, and then basically what you'd be looking for is speed substats and accuracy um, substats so that way you can sort of um, try and you know get them as fast as possible but also have as much accuracy to land your abilities as well then we've got our um, decreased defense champion so I'm going to use um, Madame as an example so you could use um, triple accuracy set triple perception that's fine um, I presume accuracy on the banner Yep, yeah. you can also get accuracy off the amulet as well, which is really useful. 
accuracy on the chest, speed boots, and then HP gloves is really good enough. And actually, I could bump up a speed a bit more. But I think because of the speed tuning, I have decided not to do that. And then Nuka will use Gembo. So, um, basically, there's a few different ways you can build champions. Um, mine's in a Swift Parry. So, Swift Parry's fine for Gembo. Um, so, it increases his speed, increases his crit damage. And this champion only needs 70% crit rate, so he's different from others. But um, Cruel, Cruel is great because it gives you attack and ignore damage. Go for a Savage set. Um, full attack set is fine when you're lower. And, you know, ideally you do want crit damage gloves, but when you're starting the game, you may not be able to get that. So crit rate gloves is fine. But for your nuke, the stats you want to be pushing are attack, the speed needs to be at the right level. You want 100% crit rate unless there's a reason why. So, like, for example, Soul Bond Boya, Boa, sort of Boya, Boya, um, doesn't need 100% um, accuracy, uh, sorry, crit rate either. And then, you know, then you just want to push that crit damage as high as possible. So, I think sort of early game, 300 attack plus, sorry, 3000 attack plus, and probably 150 to 200. Crit damage should give you some good numbers, but you know, as you sort of progress, you really want to push those numbers up. Okay, guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope this will help you progress in arena and you know, getting you to silver and even possibly gold. And yeah, I just I hope it's been helpful. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up and tap that subscribe. And take care, guys. Peace.